What's up guys, welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. I'm your host Ben and let's quickly get right into it. As soon as you start up your Mac, the first change that came with Mac with Speaks uh, is going to be heard. You now have a chime that greets you as soon as you start up your Mac just as illustrated at WWDC 2020. You can see basically already that the lot has changed, even the wallpaper has changed in the background before you even sign in. There's a lot of graphical changes, mainly with icons all around, and simply put, it's super minimal. I did do a video dedicated to the icon changes where I compared Marquez Pixel and Marquez Catalina 10.15 just to see how the icons changed and if you want to see that video I'll leave it somewhere on top of this video here you can always click on it and see the icons how they've changed with Marquez Pixel coming from Catalina you know just looking at the OS the way it looks and feels it's almost as if Apple want to merge iPad OS iOS and Marco into one big universal operating system. You never know. Also, just like iOS 14, on macOS Pixel, we now have widgets. Although at this time, third-party widgets aren't yet available on macOS Pixel, just like iOS 14. Perhaps this is something that is in the works. And also, I noticed that, you know, you can actually drag your widgets to your home screen just like you can on your iPhone or your iPad. So I think in the future, it will be something that's cool. You know, if you can have, like, perhaps a third-party widget just showing you your CPU and GPU use, or perhaps you know a third party widget just like for Spotify where you can easily just change the track and I think that's something that's coming but it's at this time in the works now an application or software that gained big big updates when it comes to Mac OS Pixel has to do with Safari it's probably the most updated app on Mac OS Pixel and you know the first change that we can see with Safari is basically the wallpaper that you now have an option to change your wallpaper and not only that but now Safari can do privacy tracking to tell you which websites are using trackers and also you can now translate different web pages that aren't into your language that your system is set into so I have mine set to English and if I'm to visit a site let's say like a French site or a Spanish site or anything like that I can easily translate that website into the system language that my Mac is set into which is good and more convenient and that's something new also that came with Mac OS Pixel and if you watch a lot of YouTube videos on Safari on the Mac I'll be happy to let you know that if your Mac supports 4k video the resolution then you now have 4k video with Mac OS Pixel the resolution has been bumped up from 1080p to 4k which is you know amazing also speaking of wallpapers it's not only safari that gained quite a number of wallpapers the system itself if you go into the settings you'll notice that there's quite a number of wallpapers that came with Mac OS Pixel. The one that I have here is the default one and if you update your Mac to Mac OS Pixel, this is the one that you are going to see. But as you can see, we have quite a number of wallpapers. And also not only that, you notice that, you know, the different wallpapers that we have under this section have been grouped into even more segments, which is something good that came with Mac OS Pixel. Now, Another app that has been updated significantly with Mac OS Pixel has to do with the Messages app. So if you use Messages on the Mac, which is something that I don't usually do, it's been updated. You can now pin conversations or even create groups and pin them on the top of the chat. And not only that, but with Mac OS Pixel, you can actually add mention people in groups so let's say for example someone has a group chat and you know groups get a lot of notifications so you can sort of silence the group but the moment the a person in the group ad mentions your name you get a notification just letting you know that your name has been ad mentioned which you know it's almost like twitter so it's something good and messages received a ton ton of new updates even more stable compared to catalina so when big cell officially comes out this is something that you'd wanna check out messages now let's talk about maps with Maps, Mac OS Pixel has been updated. I wouldn't say at this time it's at Google Maps level, but it's more significant compared to what we had previously. And a couple of notable features that we have here, we now have look around for selected cities. This is a feature that is being added with time. So 
bigger cities will get this feature first. I know New York Times Square at this time has this feature. Look around just like Google Maps. And also you have cycling directions for selected cities again. So this is something that's being rolled out. And if your city hasn't yet been added, Give it some time and hopefully when Marquez Pixel becomes wide, this will be added. The control center also on Marquez Pixel has been updated. And if you look at the knobs at the tip of each, you know, parameter that controls a specific function, you can see that it has like a circular design. It's almost trying to tell you that, you know, you can touch me and adjust me. So I don't know if Apple is trying to hint at a touchscreen Mac perhaps in future, but not only that, if you look at the status bar at the top of your screen there, you notice that, you know, the icons have actually been spaced out more wider unlike the previous version of Mac OS. This is actually something that we've been seeing varying with the different betas of Mac OS Pixel. So the icons went like from like this close and then they went this wide and then they went like this. So it's something that's again going up and down like this. So it still seems like Apple is trying to hint at a, perhaps a touchscreen Mac in future. So you never know, right? At this time though, I would say that I'm not too excited about touchscreen Macs cause you know the coding that is used on the Mac screen, it's like a fingerprint magnet. It's like before you even touch the screen, there's already a fingerprint. So I believe if there's going to be a touchscreen Mac, then something has to be done with the coating that they put on the Macs. So you never know, there've been quite a number of rumors, you know, depicting a full screen MacBook with a touch screen and also a touch keypad. And also there've been rumors depicting like two iPad Pros combined together to end, you know, making that agronomic hinge that makes a Mac and, you know, becoming like some sort of MacBook. So you never know, perhaps this is something that could happen in future. Now within settings of the MacBook Pro, there have also been quite a number of changes that were made. You notice that perhaps the menu that used to contain dock settings has been relocated and that, that used to allow you to show the Mac battery percentage, that has also been moved. And also if you go into the battery section of the Mac, you notice that, you know, we now have a new battery icon. It's one that, you know, sort of depicts iOS 7 battery icon that we had on the older older versions of iPhones and iOS so I like the way it looks I think it looks you know it looks amazing and also with Mac OS Pixel you can actually see your screen on time now this shows you how much screen on time you got and associated battery usage that was actually used to get that screen on time and also you have a new adaptive charging system or optimized battery charging what this feature does is that it stops your Mac at you know a capacity that is not at a hundred percent so your mark might be on the charger for like let's say for half a day and you notice that it doesn't reach to a hundred percent the reason why it does this is that you know your battery that is in the mark it ages with time and also temperature is very bad when it comes to your battery so hundred percent and zero percent are actually not good percentages to keep your mark so it finds you know a higher percentage of course because people want a higher percentage when it comes to battery charge but it doesn't reach all the way to 100 just to preserve and give you more battery lifespan of your macbook now when it comes to a summary or my thoughts on mac os pixel i would say that you know i really like the design this is perhaps the most ui change that we've had on mac OS in a long long time and not only that, but it comes with a number of security, privacy, and performance enhancement. This is in the OS and also throughout different application and softwares that are running on Mac, that is running Mac OS Pixel. So I really feel like, you know, it's amazing and it makes you just by looking at the designs, it makes you think of the Apple ecosystem and not only, you know, how this ecosystem works, but the way it also looks. Um, let me know if you are excited, you know, with the way it looks and if you're going to be updating to Mac OS Pixel. 
Anyways, these are the marks that support Marquez Pixel. Just in case you are wondering if your mark is supported. And basically, that's about it for me, guys. This is a small touch up on Marquez Pixel. There's a whole lot, lot of changes that came with Marquez Pixel that I'm going to do in another video. So make sure you drop a like and hit subscribe so that you stick around and you won't miss out on any of the updates when it comes to macOS apple silicone and a whole lot more so that's about it for me guys stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video very soon peace